I know we all say Lego is going to the move, but in my opinion, not every Lego set is going to end up on the move. So we're going to take Michael Burry's advice, and instead of buying, we're going to sell. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Christo, from Stud City, and I have an exciting video today for you. We're going to go be, be going through my top five Lego sets retiring in 2023 that we should not be buying. The first set is probably going to shock you and hopefully not give you a heart attack, but it is the Republic gunship from the Lego Star Wars line. And like I said, that is probably going to shock you. So let me give you my reasoning. Uh, so this set officially comes with two minifigs. And one is this Mace Windu minifig, uh, which was nice to see, right? It has some good printing. Uh, he has a kind of like open mouth face. Uh, torso with some like scratches on it and uh, some leg pieces to kind of match but just be mindful this waste Wendu comes in this Republic fighter tank which is a nice army building set uh, at which retails for only $40 which is you know times 10x is the price of the Republic gunship uh, but anyways the only thing different here is the torso doesn't have the scratching uh, so essentially you're just getting an exclusive torso piece uh, in the UCS Republic gunship so I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, pricing. I would assume so. So one torso being different. Um, but anyways, the cheapest prices I've seen were around $10 uh, internationally. And then in the US was the cheapest was $15, which is uh, quite reasonable. But then also there's another minifig that comes in the Republic gunship. Uh, of course, that is your cl clone trooper commander. Uh, and unfortunately, this set comes in three Lego sets. And one of those sets happens to be the clone trooper command station, which was Again, an army building battle pack. So, so many people got this and it was available for $15, a whopping $15. Granted, this did retire and, you know, it's expected that prices increase on this minifig. Uh, but truthfully, how how high can they go uh, when this, you know, set was retailing for $12 on clearance? Uh, now, the other thing I think the reason the gunship, the Republic gunship is such a terrible investment uh, is simply because this was a remake, right? The last gunship we saw was over 20 years ago in 2008 and three uh, and unfortunately the 2003 one was 10 times better uh, even though it was at a lower price it was minifig scale which was awesome it came with great minifigs uh, so it kind of just feeds into saying that uh the big it's it's not always a big fish that kind of wins right and the bigger the fish isn't always better and i think that is so truthful when you're talking about the republic gunship because um judging from the play scale model which you know we've done collection videos multiple times you know with my uncle that gunship is amazing it is it is just absolutely amazing compared to the the modern day one i think is just not a good lego set but again what do i know i only do this every single waking day that i live for the past multitude of years i'm just kidding guys uh, again uh, again these are going to be opinions i'm not licensed in any way or form to give financial advice so do take that in a grain of salt i just these are going to be my personal opinions and like opinions that i'm going to follow so again uh, as we get through this list make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this uh, because i really do enjoy making these and taking the time to put effort in uh, to kind of give you guys my opinions and my thoughts around this stuff because it is an interesting topic and everything can't be good and everything can't uh you know double its value within the first month of retiring so i think it's also great great to keep mindful of that. The second Lego set that I think is probably a bad investment that is retiring in 2023 is going to be set number 10497 and that is the Galaxy Explorer. So this was part of the 90 uh, year Lego anniversary collection which was a fantastic collection. I love this set. I've done a review of this set because I think it's amazing but there's a few reasons I don't think it's a good investment and one of the big reasons is because of consumer Walmart. Walmart actually retailed this set at 50% discount many times uh, throughout the course and shelf life of this set. Uh, not sure why. I don't know if it was selling so poorly. I, for one, thought this was a great set at $100, but for retailers to do Lego sales on this after, you know, just, what has it been out for seven months, at 50% off, it just, it's alarming for me to invest in the set when so many people were able to pick this up for absolute dirt cheap. Please do not let that stop you from picking up a copy of this set for yourself. I've, I've preached about this multitude of times. It is a great Lego set. I definitely have to to have one good copy unfortunately we didn't get an exclusive minifig in the set it would have been nice to get a different color astronaut uh, but hey i'm really reaching on that one moving on forward though to our number three lego set that is going to be a bad investment it comes from more of a party favor and something i used to play in the village where i'm from and it's going to be the one of the newest lego idea set it's going to be the table football so this is actually officially number 45 for the lego ideas line uh, i'm a big fan of the lego ideas but i feel like they should have steered more towards something like this 
a very professional foosball table. I think this is a lot cooler, but hey, I know I'm really reaching on that one as well. Uh, but anyways, for those of you who don't know, the table football set comes with uh, a handful of minifigs, which is great, right? And like a dugout thingy. I don't know why it's a dugout, but uh, for, you know, your soccer players. Uh, but it has a high retail price of $250. Uh, and just a quick Google search of a you know, foosball table online, you can find one that's on Walmart for, you know, under $300, $200. Uh, that one was $300. And it's just, it's hard to compare a Lego set that's playable by one to two people, right? Uh, and just not a lot of room when you could buy a whole foosball table from a local retail store for, you know, a fraction of the cost and actually enjoy it and like actually play this at party game. So for me, it's it's difficult. Again, don't let that steer your decision. Uh, it's, it's hard to, you know, decide on some of these stuffs, but uh, for me, that's just an awful Lego set. Uh, but hey, who am I? All right, I'm just offering in free advice in the form of just trying to get you to hit that like button and subscribe. The fourth Lego set though we need to talk about is the Atari video game computer system, uh, which again is part of the Nintendo line that kind of Lego is reaching out and trying to you know, fill the needs of our community. I think it's a pretty good Lego set. I just don't think it's a set that you want to invest in one of the big reasons why i think that is is because it has something that's pretty hard to compare to uh, even though i know there's a lot of atari fans right uh, but lego's making different lego systems one of those systems is the Nin nintendo entertainment system uh, which has a retail price of a little bit more has a million more functionality and like playability type uh, of of a lego build and it's again forty dollars more it's just a way better lego set so if like if you're investing money right just for a little bit more, you could buy something amazing or settle some for something that's just meh. What are you going to do? So that's kind of my reason um, around this one. I, for one, absolutely love the NES uh, and it's just uncomparable. So uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why. Uh, but it is a hard thing to compare. Not that I'm saying this set will do horrible in investing. I just I don't I think it has too much competition to do well, if that makes sense. And that brings us to our fifth and final Lego set that we need to talk about that I think is a bad investment. And that's going to fall into the Lego Star Wars line. And that is the Dark Trooper helmet. Remember, if you recall some of the original uh, helmets, one was the, the TIE Fighter Pilot that retired. And now that was the first one to retire at a retail price of $50. And now it's over $250. Uh, and I believe the second one to retire was the Stormtrooper helmet. And everyone said it was going to flop. Uh, and that's around $200. Uh, I, I simply don't believe this growth is attainable for all the releases. If LEGO plans on dropping four or five of these a year, I don't think it's attainable for every single LEGO helmet to escalate in price that significantly. And, and truthfully, that's in short, the truth of the matter. Uh, so we don't wanna be caught back holding, uh, so back holding some of these sets that aren't going to be good ones. Uh, just because I think some of these helmets aren't great, right? Like uh, the Scout Trooper was amazing. The Storm Trooper was amazing. Uh, of course, the TIE Fighter Pilot was probably one of the best ones. Uh, the Dark Trooper, doesn't leave that impression. I don't think it's an amazing helmet. Now that's to say I still want a copy for myself, right? But that's a lot different from me buying 10 copy of this or investing in this Lego set. Uh, I just simply don't think that's a great move uh, simply because the economics and that's kind of my reason why. But anyways, guys, in short, uh, not every Lego set is going to the, move, to the moon. I hate to burst your bubble. So if you want to see more like this, subscribe today and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Chris Hill. Peace out.